welcome to the channel. This is Go Greddy and welcome to the 2022 Toyota Gatsu Racing GT Cup, the first official racing series here on Gran Turismo 7 tonight. It is round number one and we're at Spa in the Super Formula cars. And I tell you what, there is some terrible driving, some bad penalties and some exciting action. So stick around, check it out. So on to the Toyota Gatsu Racing Cup schedule. We've got seven races scheduled, pretty spread out all the way through August 28th with two rounds, a secret. So, hmm, be interesting to see what pops up there. This round at Spa in the Super Formula car, and we've got 1X fuel, 1X tires, and racing softs available, so there will be plenty of traction through the race. Lobby opens up, looks like a pretty good lobby here, A-plus drivers, so excited to get out there and get the qualifying started. Let's see how I do. One reason I would like Petey to fix the lobbies and include a qualifying to be able to be put into the lobby is this reason right here. I would have known to get into the slipstream here at Spa in the Formula One was a terrible idea. And while I'm thinking that I'm possibly going faster as I'm in Blaze's slipstream here, in reality, I am not. The air is just too dirty and I'm not actually gaining any time. Now, I ran a 150.6 in the time trial. And as I come across the line here, you'll see I run a 151.9, 1.3 seconds off my pace. And I realized being in the slipstream was an absolutely terrible idea. So I get out of the uh, track and re-enter, go out on a loan. You see, I got a nice big gap there in front of me. So now I can just relax and run the course and I'm able to you know, stay full throttle here through Puhan, where before I was having to lift when I was in Blaze's dirty air coming around that corner. And I'm already seven tenths up on my time. And then I screw up the last chicane there. So I lost maybe two or three tenths and end up with a 151.4. Probably should have been around a 151.2 or a 151.1, but I really botched the chicane there. So. End up qualifying P12 here in this highly ranked lobby. Not too bad. Um, you know, even if I got my best time, I think I'd only been up around P7, where I thought I should have been. About a 151 flat is where I felt like I could have positioned myself, but nothing you can do about it. So put it in second gear, traction control on one, nail the boost, coming off the starting line, get a pretty good launch here, pulling away from the guys behind me, going to break at the 50 board and just ease it around the outside. Try not to hit anyone when I get hit from behind and then from the side there, not Andrew Racing's fault, but I get pushed off track and add insult to injury. Get a five second penalty. Again, PD, either get rid of the penalty system or fix it because there's no reason for me to get five seconds right there. Let's go back and look at what happened. So here's Bill on the starting line. Uh, Apple Pop gets a terrible start there. He goes around Pop heading towards turn one. Needs to get on the brakes here at the 50 board. Does not. Brakes late, hits the cars in front of him, knocks three, four people off track, causing the GT penalty system, which is broken, to start dishing out penalties to people who did absolutely nothing, including Ortiz that was right there in front of him. I got a five second penalty. I believe a couple of the others around me also got penalties. Now heading out of no name corner, and there are cars flying everywhere as the Soyet Green, where racing cars dreams go to die, has taken more lives Another five second penalty there on another driver. We hit the penalty line. I have gone from P12 to last to P10, all in the matter of, well, less than a lap. So it's just an absolutely insane start to this race. Uh, can it get worse? Yes, it can. As here I am in P10, I am out of overtake and I'm coming up the camel straight here, coming out of Radeon. And what you'll see here is I'm catching up quickly to lead sled. Now, I didn't think I was going to be going that fast as I was out of boost. I was not boosting. He was boosting, but apparently I was really just holding up with him here. I break right here at the 50 board, which is normally plenty of time, but it's not enough. So I go as far right as I can, hoping he's going to slip on by, but I kill him, absolutely murder him, fling him off the track. I get a five second penalty. Now, that was actually a deserved penalty. Now, I did not slow down because there were cars behind me and I was in the technical part of the track. I did not want to slow them down. They come around me as I serve my five second penalty. Then I wait here on the outside of Blanchemont to make sure that I don't hold up anybody and I'm gonna give the position back here to Lead Sled. Again, was my fault entirely. I just knocked him from P10 all the way down to P13. 100% my fault. Apologies, Lead Sled, did not mean to do that. Just, I just misjudged my braking. Again, be nice if the lobbies were easier to set up. Maybe we could practice some of these races, PD. 
but no, 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 no. We get rid of the things we like in GT Sport, like savable lobbies, and we put in the things we don't like, like this terrible penalty system. But I digress. Here we are on to race number two. I qualified in P4, but P3 got, well, you'll never guess, got kicked from the race. So I'm now in P3, but I show that I qualified in fourth there. So again, second gear, traction control on one, and I drop the hammer, get the boost on, get another really good start, leaving the folks behind me. Pulling here on P2, take the corner, down the inside, nice and clean, come out of turn one, La Source in P2, get on the overtake. Now, I don't want to run up to the back of Hitman here, going in to Oru. So I back off of the overtake as we come up through Radeon, down the Kemmel Strait. I've got a really good run on him, and I don't really want to pass him here, because basically we're just going to get side by side, heading into Lake Holmes, not what I want. So I ease off there just a little bit to let him back in front of me, but P3 takes that as an invite, and he gets on the brakes just a tad early, and then O'Hedge bumps him from behind. I try to slip in behind O'Hedge. Don't see Goletsky behind me. Just catches the back of my tire. I lose the rear end, and uh, now I'm back into P11. So what looked like a promising start turns into disaster as I try to play the long game and just get into line for lap one and two before I really want to start racing. Also get a second penalty there for uh, hitting P1 from behind. Grab a quick Gretty pass now into P10. Heading through Puyon. Just missed death there. Get another Gretty pass coming out of Puyon. And as we go through campus, I'm back up into P9, so need a good exit through Stavala as I find yet another Gretty Pass as O'Hedge, who we tangled up early at the top of the hill at Lake Home. Well, now he is behind me. Now I'm gonna have to serve my time out for being naughty and hitting P1 from behind, which I did do, and unfortunately drop another position there. Now it looks like I'm going to catch Galetsky as I lose yet another position, pass him going out of the exit of Blanchemont make a little bit of contact there not too bad break here just after the hunter board and now i've got to set my sights on 90 tray i guess that also means 93 is kind of a strange combination a little bit of spanish a little bit of english get on the overtake there uh just a little bit of boost to try and catch back up to the guys in front of me now let's talk about the boost that was also broken and i'm gonna have to get on it hard here heading down the straight i want to use it all up in the first two laps because it takes a minute and 40 seconds on the dot to replenish so what you want to do is use it all up in two laps. Use a quarter here, lose a quarter on the back straight, do it all over again, then let it come back in a minute and 40 seconds. Now getting a great run here on 90 Trey, heading down the Kemmel straight. I move to the right side. 90 Trey does not block the move. Getting on the brakes there at the 50 board, stick it down the inside of Lake Holmes, make the move stick. Moving back up into P8 now. Sight set on zero hedge who we bumped into, when I say we, I mean me, we bumped into at the beginning of the race in Lake Holmes right before I moved down on Galeski, losing the car and going into the sand trap up there at the top of the hill. Now, coming down corner, no name, towards Puyon. A tricky, tricky corner. Got to keep it tight through here, not go too wide, not lose the rear end. Able to do that even with the dirty air. As you can see, I'm sticking the nose just to the inside of O'Hedge, trying to grab a little bit of clean air there get on the gas early use the slipstream to pull me back up into the backside of that super formula in front of me now i'm gaining on o'hedge and i've got some boost left here for this last trade you can see his red light flashing on the back of the car that means he's getting on the boost as well we're both hammering the boost coming down the back straight towards blanchemont can i catch o'hedge before the bus stop chicane now only three tenths separate us as we get down towards the braking zone he covers the inside up as i dropped the anchor there before the bus stops came move wasn't really on gonna have to try and get on the gas here use this last bit of boost up and all of a sudden z48 car loses the rear end causing no hedge to also go off the track that's a dose ready pass for yours truly i will absolutely take it move into p6 now a little bit of squiggling and squirming there coming out of the bus stop chicane allowed 90 Tress to catch back up and he is all over the backside of Gretty coming up through O'Rouge and Radeon into the Kemmel straight. He's going to have a good run on me and I'm thinking he's got boost because he's really driving hard as we're coming down the straight. He goes down the inside like him. I don't fight it. P6 
He has got that absolutely dead to right and makes the move stick back on Gretty. So I give up P6, fall back to P7, but that's okay because I know as we head down the final straight after Blanchemont, I'm going to have my boost back because like I said, it was a minute and 40 seconds exactly it took for the boost to replenish and that meant I would have it before the end of the lap. Now I know I take a minute 53 here about to run a lap in traffic so I should be getting it somewhere around the bus stop chicane. I know that but I'm in the slipstream of 90 trays so I'm going to use that to my advantage. I go down the outside as he takes the inside line. I'm going to break as late as possible. Go around the outside in the bus stop chicane. 90 trays gives me room. I give him room on the exit. Get back on the throttle. I've got boost back so I slam on the boost button. Come out of the corner with my hair on fire. Down the straight. Make the move stick. Heading into Lost Source. Get on the brakes a little bit early there on accident. Didn't quite mean to break that early. It's causing 90 Trace to get in the rear end of yours truly. But luckily I didn't get on the brakes quite early enough to serve out an undeserved penalty to 90 Trace as we had some really nice clean racing there going through the bus stop chicane. Now you see me spamming the overdrive button here as I want to make sure I keep out of striking distance from the two drivers behind me. Galetsky makes a move behind me around 90 Treas as he really uses that slipstream to his advantage coming up behind me, heading through a lost source down towards Bruxels here. Now I know that Galetsky's a pretty fast guy, so I got my work cut out for me to keep him at bay as we head down through the bottom technical section of the track and back towards Blanchemont as I have now moved into the slipstream of P5. That's Jay Raider in front of me. I'm gonna try and get something done on him quickly as I'm only 11 seconds back from the leader in the race. There is a chance I could, with a few mistakes, make up that time. So don't wanna waste any trying to get around anyone. I've got a good amount of boost left here for the rest of lap five. Gonna replenish on lap six to try and you know make something happen on seven and eight so right now again i'm in the slipstream don't want to run up on them in O rouge so i wait to get back on the boost button as we come out of radion really nice drive on raider there go around the outside he doesn't put up too much of a defense then i instantly get in to the slipstream of smydean as we head through lake Holmes once again now, all I have now, I'm watching Smydean here, and he's, he's a little erratic coming around through these corners. So I'm like, okay, I shouldn't have too much trouble getting around Dean here as I've pretty much run him down from pretty far back on the track. So not really too worried. It's just a matter of time before I can, before I can uh, find a spot to make the move on here in this technical section of the track with the downwash. Really hard to do. And right there, I don't do a very good job of getting that nose to the inside. But as I try to stick it on the inside, I grab the grass right there. I almost lose the car. So good save there to keep the car from getting out of control as I touch the grass. Now coming out of Blanchema, I was hoping I could get enough drive to get by him here. Just not quite enough. Try to make the same move as I did on 90 Trace. Can't make that stick as Schmeidin does a pretty good job of defending that one there. Now I could tell that he was going to dive deep into that corner, so I held back, tried to get the cut back here, and it works out well as I dive down to the inside on La Source. He gives me a bump from behind as I had to take that narrow line through there, and I was hoping that would be enough to hold them off coming down through the long, long Kemmel Strait. But that was all just a wish and a dream as we come out of Radeon. He's only two tenths behind me, so I know he's going to overtake me. So I move over to the left, just give him the inside line because he's coming by whether I like it or not. I've got no boost left. I was thinking he had boost, uh, but as he comes by, I don't see his red light flashing. So I slide in there behind him. He goes too deep. I come around the outside. He gives me a bump, and then he runs me off the track. Absolutely wretched, wretched racing there by Smydean as he does not show the respect coming out of Lake Holmes. He's a little upset about that, but I was like, so, okay, we'll get him on the next lap, lap seven. I've got boost replenished. I know I can get him here. So as we, again, we come through Eau Rouge up Radion. I've got an excellent drive on Smydean as he moves over to the left. I'm gonna go down to the right. And then last second, he swerves to block. Terrible sportsmanship by Smydean with the swerve block move on the easy pass down camel straight i mean I, this is a, a you know a second split lob you don't you don't do swerve block moves like what the hell is this 
So that's all right. On lap eight, I'm going to take him right here with the double move because I know he's going to try it again. He did it once before. So I'm going to sneak over here to the left, move back right. He comes over to, sh to block me, smashes me into the wall, taking himself out. Let's look at that again. So here he is coming up Radeon, and I'm coming behind him. He moves over left. Look at him swerve back to the right to hit me into the guardrail. Just terrible driving for a second split lobby. Awful. Let's look at that in slow-mo. Greddy comes up here. Going to move the left. Get him to steer left. Give him the double move. Go back right. Get to his inside. He gets mad that he gets fooled. Comes back across. Tries to run me into the guardrail. Smashes me into the guardrail. Spinning himself out. And yes, folks, you know what that is? That is karma serve. Yeah! Dean will fall back to P12. And quite honestly, he deserves it. Not sure if he got a penalty or not, but, well, he certainly deserved one. Um, so, which means he probably didn't get one. But this is not over. Now I got Galetsky coming up the backside. He looks down the inside, but makes the smart life choice. Pulls out, folks. It was going to be tight there going into Lake Holmes. And after he saw what happened with me and Shmati, he was probably like, yeah, I'm not going to force that one in there. Now, as I come down into Bruxels, he hits me again from behind. But, honestly, it's not his fault as I'm coming up a little bit slow through those corners and uh during the race i couldn't figure out why the car just felt a little bit different but i noticed i'm on traction control too i didn't notice this until the replay i was accidentally bumping the button there and i kind of wonder if that didn't save me a little bit when i hit the guardrail so just a little bit of karmatic coincidence i guess anyway on here towards the end of the lap again i've got galeski behind me well within my slipstream within six tenths so we're gonna have to come out of Stavalot with some speed and be able to carry it all the way down through Blanchma on the overtake button hard and I'm actually starting to pull away from Galetsky so maybe he is out of the boost as he tried to make all that run then I noticed the yellow flag coming down through the left hander here exiting Blanchma and there is a car on the side of the track and I get another Gretty pass moving into P3 what happened there Hitman has a half second penalty as he comes down towards the penalty zone. You can see Tin is stealing and not far behind him as Hitman serves the penalty. Tin is stealing is going to look down the inside of Blanc Chamal. Hitman gives him room as they come through the exit of Blanc Chamal. They make contact. Tin is stealing with the 360 no scope on Hitman. Takes P1. Uh, Hitman falling back to P3 as Mr. Assassin takes p2 so hitman passed by assassin as he take it out by tennis steelian and then go Greddy ends up on the podium somehow in this extremely wild race i will take it absolutely uh i feel bad for hitman <laughs> at the end brutal finish for him but i take home a podium on the first official race of the season and i'm able to pick up 250 points for my trouble i will rack them and move on to the next race. I hope you enjoyed the action. If you did, hit the like and or subscribe. Come back and check out some more. For myself, Go Greddy, y'all have a great evening. DJ Clean, take us out of here.